Welcome back to Asking Penn State. Today we're going to be interviewing Penn State students about their views on climate change, as well as interviewing Penn State meteorologists to find out the real truth behind the matter. But what is your, what's your thoughts on climate change? Uh, I think it really sucks. Um, it, it snowed here in State College about like three days ago, two days ago. I think that uh, more should be done to help fix the climate, or at least stop it from getting worse. I think there's a really big climate change crisis that's going on um, due to all of our carbon emissions in um, the atmosphere that are occurring. Um, and I do believe there is a significant rise in temperatures in places where it shouldn't be risen. And that there are uh, different weather patterns in places where it usually wouldn't have it. So I think it's something that really needs to be fixed and we need to be more conscious about uh, what we do in our environment. Climate change is an all-encompassing term. It simply refers to the fact that climate changes, that the way the climate used to be 100 years ago may not be the same as it is today. The way it was 1,000 years ago may not be the way that it is today. Climate change, the climate has changed naturally forever. Recently, I think the term, when people say climate change, they're referring to climate that's changing because of human because of things humans are doing. So the way I look at it is there's a, there's a new player in town ch helping to change the climate. And that is, is, is humans. The primary idea that some of the things that we do as humans, such as burning coal, burning gasoline, as examples, burning natural gas, produce gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane that are increasing in the atmosphere. So we are performing an experiment right now on Earth's atmosphere by changing the amount of certain gases in the air. Science tells us, and this is not new science, it's old science, it's settled science, settled 150 years ago, that if you tinker with the amount of certain gases in the atmosphere. The atmosphere should warm up. The earth is gonna be fine. We're doing, we need to stop climate change to save ourselves and to save like the things that we love and what we know. It's very politically, um, it divides people politically because I don't think it should be a political issue, but um, it's more of like a humanitarian issue, but. Knowing that there are other scientific issues that people will fight against because of perhaps their politics, perhaps where they grew up, perhaps in some cases, lack of education. Uh, so it disappoints me, but it doesn't surprise me. And I don't think you have to look any further than the pandemic to understand how some people uh, simply are willing to ignore good science uh, for many different reasons. What are your thoughts on climate change? Your views on climate change. Please. Uh, I think it is a terrifyingly important topic. Um, how about you? Yeah, I agree. I think you know a little bit more about this than I do, but yeah, I think it's really important that we try to conserve as much as we can. Awesome. What's your names? Uh, Max Lucas. Sydney Herman. Awesome. Thank you so much. What are your thoughts on climate change? It's uh, an issue that needs to be considered now before it's too late. I know the climate here at State College like fluctuates so differently. Like last week it was like 75 and this week it was snowing and 30, so I have no idea what's going on with the weather. To be yeah, honest. it's wild, right? Yeah, but it's wild, honestly. Yeah. Well, climate change is happening. The research is there. Our, our, you know, temperatures have been rising throughout the decades, and we are starting to see the effects of that. You know, here in the northeastern United States, one of the biggest impacts we've had is that our the number of heavy rain events is becoming more frequent, and that's a problem because of flash flooding. Um, and so that's, I think for the Northeastern United States, that's one of the biggest things as far as uh, industries, you know, we're just coming out of the winter, you know, it's affecting the ski industry. A lot of places in the Northeast ski areas can't be open as long because they aren't 
seeing as many snow events because the temperatures are too warm. So we're starting to find that it's not just the issue of having rising temperatures. It's what are those rising temperatures having an effect on elsewhere? And we're starting to see that there is an effect and it's those effects just continue to get more and more intense as this goes on. I really think it needs to be addressed. I do think it's a serious issue. And even though it might not influence my generation, uh, I do think it should, it's going to influence future generations. And uh, I think it needs to be addressed. Um, I think it's relevant. I think there's a lot of evidence behind it. Um, it's something that definitely needs to be addressed. We have, uh, compared to other schools, we have, it's not just meteorology. Um, it's not just what you think of with meteorology with weather and forecasting. Um, that is one of the options you can take, but you can also take a track towards air quality. You can take a track towards, you know, more of a research type of track going in just the atmospheric science um, path. Many of them think they want to do television when they arrive on campus, but then once they see what you can do with a degree, they end up in all sort of branches, even in some places you would not expect to see a meteorology uh, major working. And then meteorologists get a lot of programming skills. So anybody who needs a scientific programmer might be interested in hiring a meteorologist. Meteor modern meteorologists depend heavily on computer models of the weather. Well, we can simulate the weather, um, but we're actually using mathematical equations that describe how air moves around. So they're, they're, it's real physics, it's real science. There's a lot when it comes to technology. The biggest is computing. There's not just physical computers, but the different types of languages they learn and the different software that they use, depending on you know, what research they're doing. Um, there's the more practical stuff for those who are interested in weather forecasting. We have, um, there's the, this isn't necessarily a technology, but the Campus Weather Service is a student organization and they do their own weather forecasts for the state of Pennsylvania for different media outlets um, and different customers. And you know they're expected to be here at six o'clock in the morning to make forecast and, and they do. Um, for those who are interested in TV, we have, a TV studio, and we use the same equipment that you would find at a, you know, a TV news station in, you know, the city that you've come from. And so there's just, it's a huge variety of different things that are available within our department. Everybody knows that my cough, cough drops. On the climate change, that, that, yeah, cough drop. Everybody knows we have Penn State, bop, bop. <laughs> Asking Penn State, that's what is up, up. The cough drop. Cough Are you drop. Are that for me?